You all then wish to use the union command to combine two polygon layers and then to treat the synthetic layer that you create as the combination of those two layers in some way for some future analysis. Here's an example of a activity that requires the union command. I have my set of rivers that I've designated as trout and non-trout streams, and I've buffered those. So I have the areas that are near these rivers and streams. But I might be interested in road impacts. So I have a road network for the area, and I've also created a buffer of the road network. What I'd like to do is find those areas that are both near the streams and near the roads. So I'm looking at specifically at these areas that are darker here. And I can get at those through a union. Now I've prepped these data so that when I do the union, I'll be able to pull out those areas. Because when I get a union, I get a combination of the attributes that are in the two buffer layers. So if I right click on my road layer in the attribute table, I see that I have an attribute called inside the road buff. So every polygon has a value of one for inside the road buff. When I overlay it or combine it in the union with the stream buff, these areas out here won't have that value of one for the inside the road buff. Similarly, when I look at the attribute table for the stream buffer, I've created this in stream buff variable. So when it combines the two tables, I will get then this area that has a one where there was a stream buff and some other value where there wasn't. Now the union command is fairly straightforward. I go to the vector and in the geoprocessing tools and down here the union. And I need to specify then what are the two layers. So I'm going to use the stream buff and the road buff. And by the way, these are both single part features. So I've out of the buffer done the multi part to single part. And I'm not going to do any advanced parameters. I'm just going to go ahead then and run this. Now it runs fairly quickly. There's the union, and I can see if I get rid of all the other things, I have this combination where each of the boundaries for the polygons show up. So I can click and show oh, here's one polygon, here's another polygon. Now again, it does that same multi-part to single part thing. So I'm going to have to basically split these up after I'm done because these are combined. So remember, I have to go to the vector geo geometry tools and then do the multi-part to single part to split this union into a SP union, I'll call it here. And I get a output now that if I click on the individual values, I see I only get the individual polygon instead of the joined polygon. So how to identify those areas that are in both? Well, I have to look where the value for both the road buff and the stream buff are one. So I need to do a selection as we've shown before, where we do a selection expression based on the fields and values where I'm looking at in stream buff equal to one and the in road buff equal to one. So if I do that selection of features, I see I get these areas that are close to both the roads and the streams.